Good morning everyone. Welcome to Simon Tools. One of the most beautiful day today. It's a little bit cold, but I still have to work. Today I have a Subaru Tribeca 2012. What we're going to do today is a front CV joist, both of them, and the lower arm bushes, inner bushes replaced. So this is the all-wheel drive Tribaca 2012 So in this case we're going to do one by one We open this is the brand new CV joist, brand new one, and in a bushes kit. This one very expensive, but they will last you longer. So we have to replace that one in the that one. They're broken both sides. When you travel, it's going to rattling. See that one? See scrap metal here that's rattling up and down. And do this one. So this one can be strong longer and leave it there and we can turn to this one on one side we get the CV joint out this side and get the CV joint out this way and we'll pull it out <coughs> Two on one side, push it out. That's it. Now we can pull the CV joy out. CV joy out. Easy, simple. So that the old CV joys, it can have the uh, noise in here and the leaking oil grease. So we can replace the new one. So oh there. Now we uh, may uh, take that one off to remove this one and take this one out. I want to remove this one. I want to remove this one. So I have to do is put this one and hang it up there for pump in. Anyway, hang it up first and uh, we have to uh, try to remove. Anyway, here, yeah, doesn't matter. Just hang it here. That's it. That's it, and uh, it's ready to go underneath and do this this one. Take this one out, okay? <coughs> See how it is up here? It's more stable. See, it came up now. Take the whole lot out and slice it down. Now, up, put on up here. Take this one all up. Leave it up there. Now we have our hand in that one and that one. We can chop the car down. Put it on the wheel here, it wouldn't hurt. Lip. It can lay on the wheel like that. Take off the stand. Instead of the stand, we're using that one. <coughs> it's uh, super, super strong. Super strong, super strong. We use the spinner. <coughs> Not bad. Back. Joy spinner. <clears throat> very, very good boy. Be hard to get it out, so we may take this one out and drop this angle on one side. So we can using the red gun, or we have more roomy to undo that bolt. Very hard that one. It's very hard this one man. Oh number 19, very big one. So big, I hope this one will go in. This one will be enough. Beautiful. 
Ooh, 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 where you going, buddy? Right there. Right there. Put them away at these end so we don't mix up. So we're gonna get this one. Okay. I don't know how to get my hand in there. Uh, one holding that end. And number 17 socket. If I can put my hand in, I'd be happy. See, got more hand in here. Ready to go. No, no. Oh, Jesus, it's turning, see? We need to hold it here. One hand there. Done. See, we need two hand holding. We can't do one by one hand. It's out. Out. It's out. And then we got a more out. That's it, it dropped now. Ooh. Done. So, we cut him out. We're gonna do one more. This is the story. Gone. We need to press it out. Put a new one on. So, when you buy this one, when you buy this one, you ring up the, um, your suppliers. You say, low arm control front bushes and rear bushes say low 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 arm rear bushes so it's bigger than the front one so if you order the they don't know you don't tell them exactly they're gonna give you this one and you get it wrong so we this one okay 20 tons press so no more other press wouldn't work wouldn't do it that way okay so i have to get 20 tons and we will open up Oh my goodness, ha. we do it one, one by one, too heavy, so, right there, and then throw this in, okay, we use it right up there, so it goes up, right there, now, the machine, you need something like this, this one, you go in there on the top, push it down, and this one go underneath to go they'll go through there. So I show you how it works. Okay. Let go, baby. What you can do by hand. So I can go there first. Later, this one gotta be online, huh? Gotta be held online. Tell you the trick later. out or out okay I will show you the tricks it's gonna be four you need two hands to do this one I can't hold a camera the tricks is you but you got this one but you go in here go in here see that so I have to weld this one to hold it there so it can it can go down better see that it's stable we can send this one back later my tricks go in then you can hold this end and that end and they don't have anything on the top here so when you press it it's going down like this so you better put it on, on and it's going to hold it there balance it up and it should be alright it's good to go so now I insert the new one and uh, ready to the, uh, do the other side there leave it there for the next one okay this is the new one up the market one very strong lasts longer same way in, same way out. So we're gonna make this one super balanced. So we need something. This is 60, okay? We need something over this one so it's not damage the rubber. We need like 65. We got 65 mil. Go to the top here and press it down. This one, you still don't need this one. You don't need this one no more. You can make go down all the way to the level. So it can be level like this and go down like that okay if you would you can put a bit of uh, grease but I'm too super lazy now all this might for this purpose sliding okay this one along there Pick her this way is that all right yes correct so I can label this one and it go in better. Okay guys, 
Just checking it. Take it out, it's more difficult. Put it in, too easy. So, see that one? We just press it in down a little bit. And you will see which, way, which one is not level. See this one in, this one out. Now we have to do is easy. Don't have to do nothing else. Just open up, move this one in, press it down a little bit on this end. And when, it, when it's all in, we release and come back in the middle again. It should be alright. See, now we see it's going down level now. Okay, now we go in the middle and we press all the way down. Simple. To put it in, easy. Take it off. Amazing job. So now in the middle, all the way, all the way in, baby. Until we touch it there, level there. Done. Very handy tools. So it's gonna be 20, 20 tons press. Okay, all the way. All the way. Done. That's it. That how it should be. Okay. Leave this one there. Leave that one there for the next for the next side. So we can leave this one. You can cut it up up to you. But I think I leave it for the next person who do it. Much easier for them. So they got the same tools and do like that. So they don't have to twist the angle around everywhere. Okay. All done. Now we're gonna put this side on. Before we put in the car. Huh? So each side. Slide this one in. Oof, very good. Very strong, man. Mm. Very strong, man. Mm. So this end will be in here. Other end will be here. Oof. We'll press this one down a little bit. This side. Turn around. Press it all the way down. All the way down. Yep. That's how it looks, buddy. Brand new bruises. It will last you another 10 years. In baby. This one there, that one in there, in there, okay. Gotta go down a bit so I can see it. I can do better. Okay, go in there. Go in there. Slide in. Slide in. Mm -hmm. Big one in first. Okay, you in. Hit, hit. Okay. Shaw, oh my God. Okay, we going. In. We going in, baby. We going in. This one always in first, huh? The hardest one. The bottom one, always hardest one. Oh my God, it's not easy, huh? Go in this one. Okay, we got this one in. Use the box. Use this one. Tie this one in. Okay, we leave that one there later. We do that one later. We do this side first and uh, every, everything ready to go. This one. So this one. Go in the balls. <clears throat> Done. With the uh, pin. Go all the way through there. Just do a few turns, so let's hold it there for you first and we come back with it later. This one, simple. Oh, that's in my eye. Ready for the brand new CV joint. So this is the brand new one. Take this one up. Go in there. Take up the boat this end. That boat there. Lay it down, baby. Lay down, baby. Okay. I'll slide you in. This one over this end first. Okay. Now we're gonna slide them in, huh? Light them on. Make sure hold that one. Okay. Go, go. Okay, done. That's it. When you hear the set and done. Okay, we turn this one in. 
take the one out go in there we win buddy we win now so lift that one up to the limits a bit hard to lift up now a bit hard now we need a jack too hard for me just use this one okay hold it there for me you can grab the jack okay now i can release this one that's it okay i gotta jack him up see that i'm gonna jack him up until jack him up until i like this one see i got my nuts and bolts ready so i have to know where to go okay the big one on the top one and the tricks for this one push it like this slide it in buddy done large bolt gotta be in this one gotta be in gotta be very tight okay use all your energy done you see this edge there this edge there you can use this one and use any hammer i don't have a hammer knock this one squeeze it down to this is the locker to stop the the nuts come out safety done that's how it should be look like this okay hey, up to you you want to knock more knock more that's it now we put the wheel back and uh ready to roll for another side This big bolt out, and then we do anything else. Uh, can you see the CV joint in there? It starts running out too. The uh, grease is coming out, and the rubber on that side we've gone too, broken. So that's why we have to do both sides, okay? Magic out, push it, see it's moving. Beautiful. I don't have to use my special tools. Oh, joint holder come out first right out and uh, this one not as bad as the other side but you know what once you replace one side you better do both sides okay okay guys the um see the edge from here to here so i have to weld something here so i can hold it there so we can using the breast out easier Big fire. Forget it, man. Don't start fire on me, okay? Now, what we do is, over here, we gotta level this one there. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. Not easy for someone else to uh, take it up later. If they wanna do to replace the uh, bushes again. So, this is what I mean. See this one? When it go down, see, it's got a gap holding there. Holding there, holding there, and you press it, you go down much easier. She's going down, see? Beautiful. No worry, see? Wow, very secure. It's not my fault, it's out. <laughs> Subaru for this car I like is the CV joint. The both sides have the same length. So as you see the rubber 
Be careful when you put your CV joint in. Be careful. Do not damage that rubber there. Just lift up the CV joint. Slide them in slowly. Do a few turns. Slide in slowly. And push it in. Don't. Do not damage the, the seal, okay? Push it. Done. You can hear the king go king. Done. Okay. Okay, that's it. It's much easier out like this way. So now we can lift up and put everything in together. Every car, please make sure double check every nut and bolt because it's very important. Especially this one, the nut the bolt here, holding the whole ball joint underneath, holding the whole wheels here. So be careful, tie that one in first. And every other thing here, like this nuts and bolt, you better tie them, okay? Super tight because it's the whole suspension of the car up and down, up and down, it's very heavy. So when you lose it, when it go loose, you hear you will hear the very bad noise. Always, always, hundred percent jobs. Okay, one more sway bar, and then we can put the wheel back in. You know the um, when you replace for someone, you ask them pay extra bit of money to buy this one, or if you buy the whole new sway bar, it's all right. It save your time. But for me, just replace this one is much better than just replace the sway bar because the sway bar still using the original, the rubber inside only half cut, only two edge on each side. It make it design like that to the less rubber and make the car up and down the pump nice and quiet. But for the time long, like last longer, this one all solid around. So this one like lasts longer and a uh, little bit harder you feel on the car. But if you do that, you go to um, mountain a lot or a lot of rocks and all that, flap your tire down a little bit. Don't lift your tire hard and you feel your car good. With all this, we protection your car better for handling and start, um, not break it out, not making any noise. So that's how you replace this one, okay? Oh, done ready to go and uh, okay guys thanks for watching this is how I replace the uh, CV joint and uh, replace bushes for the low arm control for this car I never uh, I uh, always replace bushes instead of buying new arm because I'm not sure the new arm the aftermarket one would be exactly same size or maybe millimeter out so that's why I re only it's bent, I will replace. But if not bent, I will replace the um, rubbers. So I always ask the customer, I get the best rubbers, more expensive, but it's much safer, much safety, I mean, and uh, stronger for you to do handling. Especially this car, this guy, he take the car, go a uh, lot driving, go to camping. So better put it on and it makes you more safety so guys thank you for watching if you have any question please comment down below and uh, please watch like and subscribe thank you very much and i will see you in the next episode whatever i got i will post out on the movies on the videos on youtube we show you how to work it out and uh, this is the 201 Put in my yellow horses over there, ready to take to the tip, throw it out. See you guys.